Hi everyone, welcome back to JSA TV, live here from DCD Virginia in Leesburg, just right outside of Data Center Alley, where we could almost walk to Data Center Alley from here. We're just outside, 30 minutes outside of Washington, DC. Um, on day two of this very busy conference, we're here with about 1,800 data center professionals, including Dan Golding, who is CTO of Appleby Strategy Group and also partner of Quantum Connect, which is the project that we're gonna be talking about today. Um, so thank you so much for joining us, Dan. It's great to be here. Thank Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll just start with a really easy one. What's who is Quantum Connect? So Quantum Connect is is a, a project that I've been working on for about a year. It's a it's a, a fascinating little project. In a lot of areas of the country, we're seeing an awful lot of data center development. We're not seeing as much data center development here in Northern Virginia right now because we're pretty much out of power. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're seeing in a lot of places where where data center development is tailing off a little bit is what are called fill-ins. And Quantum Connect is a fill-in. It's a 20 megawatt facility, a 20 megawatt data center that's right in the middle of Ashburn. It's not on the edges. And it's part of the Quantum Park campus where there's already a bunch of existing data centers, there's a bunch of existing office buildings, and we found 20 megawatts on a substation there that we, we were able to sort of use to create um, a next generation network hub for, you know, internet companies, cloud companies, AI companies. So it's a little bit different from what you're seeing being sold or transacted, you know, throughout the industry right now. Got it, that's really exciting. Definitely mm -hmm. something unique. Um, and can you share a little bit more about the infrastructure design and the technology choices for yeah. this facility? So it's a really interesting facility in that it's built on about 130 miles of available conduit. Um, so, you know, when you talk about what people need in a place like Ashburn, they need a couple of things. They need data center capacity and they need fiber and they need that fiber very badly. Um, when Quantum Park was uh, refurbished a number of years ago, 130 miles of conduit was placed below the surface. And since then, it's been largely untouched. Um, but it's, it's, it's conduit and it's fiber that goes and touches all the major points in the middle of Ashburn um, and touches pretty much every hyperscaler and interconnection point uh, network and building. And so we thought, hey, why don't we put... Um, a small data center, 20 megawatts these days is small, mm -hmm. on top of this amazing conduit network um, and offer that as sort of a combined solution to folks. Uh, mm -hmm. The data center itself is relatively conventional. It's N plus one, it's distributed redundant. Um, it offers a level of redundancy and reliability people have come to expect. The one really interesting design element is we're using rotary UPSs. And that's something that 20 years ago you saw a lot of and it sort of went out of fashion. The reason it's coming back is because GPU loads, graphical processor loads for things like um, artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, don't interact well with chemical batteries. Um, and because they don't interact very well, we decided to use a next generation rotary UPS setup uh, in case any of our customers wanted to install large numbers of GPUs. You know, we don't anticipate this being a training facility. Those are, are big and they're in North Dakota. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there are inference loads that, you know, people want to deploy in five and 10 megawatt quantities. And we really wanted to be able to support that with state of the art electrical equipment. Excellent. Great. Thank you so much for yeah. that insight into the facility. And so we, the last question, we just kind of wanted to, you know, you, you, you've you been this longstanding member of the data center community, if you will, in Northern mm -hmm. Virginia specifically um, for quite a while. So we're wondering if you could talk about um, the shifts in customer requirements and yes. technology trends that influence this decision to build this facility yes. that's kind of in between retail colo and then full building yes. leases. So it's it's a really interesting situation. For, you know, when we started out 25 years ago in Northern Virginia, we were selling primarily retail co-location and in some cases data halls. You know, we would sell a megawatt at a time. That was that was a big number back then. Um, over time, what became the dominant product for, you know, call it about a decade was what you might think of as a server hall. For, you know, uh, sometimes people would call it a PDU break. Dupont Fabro uh, was sort of the leader in this and then digital realty and anywhere from sort of 250 kilowatts up to eight megawatts. Uh, and, what, and and that was a very popular product. A lot of people purchased it. I built it and I, I bought it and it was a great product. Um, and it really made a lot of the data center companies that we know today very successful. But a few years ago, um, as the hyperscalers became uh, more and more acquisitive and they needed larger amounts of data center capacity, folks started selling entire buildings to them. So what's happened over the past five years is the full building or full campus product has become really dominant. 
the retail co-location product from people like Equinix, who does an amazing job of it, is still there. They're still selling five and, and 10 cabinet cages, but a one megawatt or, or a four megawatt data center suite, which used to be the dominant product, can't be found anymore. And it can't be found to the point where we had trouble finding comps, comparables, uh, because there just is literally nothing on the market. There are things under lease. There are a lot of these data halls under lease. Nobody wants to give them up. When their lease is over, they just renew. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so it's one of it's really unusual economically to have a product that people want to buy but is unav generally unavailable. And that is the situation we're in today. And so we did Quantum Connect. We absolutely thought about selling the whole thing. Right now, the optimum size for sort of a full data center sale, you know, goes anywhere from sort of 35 megawatts to 60 megawatts. And this was going to be a little bit underneath that. So we thought, well, you know, the one really underserved market is this data hall market that people want to use for caching, for edge computing, for regional network hubs, for AI inference. There's this whole range of, of possible uses for it. And there are some companies that, that you know, they're, they're just not in a position right now where they want to buy 60 megawatts. It's yeah. just not not in their business plan. So we thought this is a really underserved market. And so far, um, you know, that, that's that's certainly proven out uh, to be correct, that it is very much an underserved market. I have to say, I don't see it changing. I don't see a lot of people, you know, there's people like, again, Digital, um, you know, QTS, I was one that did amazing work in this segment. I don't see them getting back into it. Hmm. So the funny thing is, I think once the capacity we have a Quantum Connect is gone, um, I, I don't think there's a lot following up. I, I don't think there's a lot of additional data hall capacity coming in Ashburn after that. Yeah. At least not for a few years. Well, that's a good call to action for folks, right? It, <laughs> it is. It's a great product. And I hate to say, hey, come compete with us. But, you know, this is going to go fast. And I think that it's it's still a really interesting product for people to sell uh, because people want to buy it. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Economics at play. Yep. Economics <laughs> Just, at play. Yeah. Well, yes. thank you so much, Dan. This is a really interesting yes. conversation. Um, it, folks can go um, online, I assume, to yes. learn more about Quantum yeah, Connect. Yeah. They, 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 they can uh, contact me. They can go online and look at our website. Um, we have all... You know, unlike a lot of data center projects, we just put all the information out there. There's not any particular secrets. We know how to build data centers these days. Um, and and th this is a very solid standard data center. And uh, so please come and, and check out the information on it. And if anyone wants to talk to me either about the project or about data center economics in Northern Virginia, I'm always happy to chat. Perfect. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Dan. Thank and thank you to our viewers for hanging out with us here live from DCV, Virginia. Thank you so much and happy networking.